Uh, Harris Caprock owns an, an extensive infrastructure. Uh, we have satellite capacity on more than 60 satellites worldwide in multiple frequency bands. Uh, as you mentioned, an earth, a lot of Earth stations, 15 uh, Earth stations that we own in terrestrial uh, architecture. I say that because our customers are very uh, wide and varied in their mission sets. Uh, we have a number of government uh, customers, both uh, through, throughout the services, the four services, uh, and the combatant commands, and a number of our federal uh, agencies uh, rely on Caprock Communications for their support. Not only within the DOD and federal, which um, I'm happy to speak about this morning, but as you mentioned, a number of energy and maritime customers. Uh, as you imagine, um, uh, the world is a big place. Uh, our customers go, uh, quite frankly, in, in remote locations, harsh locations, and that's where Caprock fits in. Uh, what about cybersecurity? Uh, we have a capacity, in, in fact, uh, over four gigahertz at this point. Um, network requirements um, are not going uh, down anytime soon. Network uh, requirements are, are global in nature. Um, every single network uh, introduces great capabilities and operational support, but also introduces vulnerabilities, as you just mentioned. Um, cybersecurity uh, clearly has to be planned and engineered and thought out prior to um, implementing. Um, the implementation uh, of a network sometimes is the easiest part. Uh, it's easy to put up a network. The real challenge and where Harris Caprock uh, uh, excels and, and puts a lot of uh, effort and energy into is making sure the network is always there, always on, and more importantly, is secure. Um, so the, the key is how do you secure a network? Uh, mm -hmm. Essential to securing a network is being able to see a network being able to uh, monitor it, uh, make sure it behaves where it, uh, where it needs to and when it needs to. And Harris Caprock has um, network monitoring stations uh, extensively throughout our network and a, a number of com uh, customer service centers. Uh, what about some of the special challenges that you see with military uh, satellites, uh, you know, the UAS uh, as well as terrestrial networks? What do you, what do you see there? Uh, focus on uh, UAS, um, uh, unmanned aircraft systems or remotely piloted aircraft, uh, not only aircraft uh, these days, but it's other systems as well, systems and sensors. Um, the end-to-end -end requirements for, uh, to enable that capability are great. Uh, as you can um, clearly understand, uh, aircraft, uh, remotely piloted aircraft don't stand still. Uh, they're operated in faraway uh, places and sometimes controlled uh, here in the United States or elsewhere. So what you have is an extensive uh, network requirement. Um, there's planning and engineering required uh, uh, requirements associated with that to make sure that the aircraft uh, has its high definition and, and, and standard definition uh, capabilities, um, bringing li real live video to where it needs to be. Uh, securing that end-to-end -end network, which consists of your satellite segment, consists of a terrestrial earth station landing point, and consists of uh, your, your terrestrial um, fiber, and to include all the applications uh, thereof is, is requires a total end-to-end -end service, uh, which Capris Caprock uh, provides. Uh, you know, we're in a new era, as you know, of fiscal uh, restraints and some of the looming, as we see today, some of the looming global threats to uh, global security and national security. Uh, do you see any options that will minimize these fiscal restraints and some of the global threats? Um, well, on the theme of cybersecurity, I think we've seen indications that um, cybersecurity within the Department of Defense and, um, and uh, elsewhere in, in the federal government is taken very seriously. Uh, I think the, uh, the budget um, is there. Uh, it's all about training and uh, preparing our cybersecurity warriors uh, within the DOD uh, and within commercial enterprise. Because um, at the end of the day, a network is only relevant if the network is where it needs to be and is safe and secure. Uh, so the time and attention clearly is important. From a Harris Caprock perspective, we worked uh, very closely with the government, with the Defense Information Systems agencies and other similar agencies to make sure that our network uh, is indeed uh, safe and secure to use. We follow the policies and procedures and in fact are a part of the community that informs uh, the government uh, on best practices. What new vertical markets do you see in the next, oh, let's say, three years? Um, a great question. Um, I, I get asked, um, well, what's next on the horizon? Right. Uh, what other uh, marketplaces, what other regions uh, mm -hmm. do we see growth? 
uh, I, I answer it this way. Um, the network requirements that we'd like in our homes uh, or in our workplaces, if you look around, you'll see the devices thereof. It's those same capabilities that are required, that are, there's a demand signal for mm -hmm. no matter where we go, uh, in, uh, on the airplanes, in travels, on trains, mm -hmm. um, to a limited extent uh, in, in vehicles. Um, every uh, endeavor um, requires some form uh, of network uh, capabilities. Mm -hmm. So um, from a Harris-Caprock perspective, uh, you know, we do a lot of work with our energy customers. Mm -hmm. uh, as, you, uh, as you can understand, the energy uh, uh, market is, is a growing market. Maritime customers, both uh, within um, maritime commercial mm -hmm. and maritime uh, entertainment, with Carnival Cruise Line, with Royal Caribbean, uh, to name a few. Mm -hmm. um, from a Harris um, government team perspective, we're partnering uh, with other Harris business units uh, specifically within our professional services is, and the professional communications to fully enable our first responders. So one of the, the markets we're looking at is for uh, making sure that everything we provide and have provided the military, and it's been a great amount of capabilities throughout the years, those capabilities, those services are what our first responders need. Mm -hmm. And then we're, we're keen to uh, make sure that uh, you know, we're working with our partners to, to get them that. What about Caprock's plans to increase its international presence? Um, well, we're, we're part of Harris Corporation, and Harris Corporation has done business um, uh, both uh, through, uh, through government channels, mm -hmm. through uh, military channels, and commercial channels mm -hmm. internationally for years, mm -hmm. uh, decades. Um, Harris Caprock, uh, we have a large international presence, as you mentioned in your intro. Uh, we have teams uh, who live abroad uh, on, on multiple continents, uh, and specifically there to make sure that we understand fully mm -hmm. the needs of our international customers. Right. Uh, we have, um, from a Harris Caprock government team perspective, we have a team dedicated uh, that lives abroad and mm -hmm. throughout Europe and elsewhere that are working with uh, international mm -hmm. customers. Because at the end of the day, you have to understand their needs. You have right. to understand the environment that they're working in. You have to understand their constraints, mm -hmm. uh, both um, from a techno uh, technology perspective, from a policies and regulations perspective, and of course from a budgetary perspective. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, we're, we're well positioned uh, to grow in that area.